and Mr. Jonathan Hunt, CEO, Sinjin International. Dear industry stalwarts, special invited guests, and my dear colleagues from Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mangalore, and those of us present here, as well as the ones who are joining us on simulcast. A very, very warm welcome to all of you on this momentous occasion. May I request Minister Ramarao Garu, uh, Kiran, Jonathan, and Shakti to please join us on the dais here. I also invite Mr. Narasimha Reddy Garu to please join us on the dais. We indeed have a very interesting program planned today, but before we move forward, I want to remind everyone that at Sinjin, safety is of paramount importance and I now invite Mr. Anjan Chakravarti, our Vice President, Head of Discovery Chemistry to provide a safety briefing on this location. Anjan, please. Thank you, Mayesh. Good afternoon for distinguished guests and all the invitees. I request you kindly pay attention to the safety briefing. There are personal protective equipment of the building, on that side of the building, between the building number two and three. This area has a, boarding, uh, has a board indicating that the safety assembly area. If you're expected to evacuate from this area, the first two rows and the people on the dais should move this way and go, this, go behind, behind the dais and go to the assembly area. The rest of the people should exit to the back door and go to the assembly area. You'll be guided by someone to reach the assembly area, so there's nothing to panic. You should just stay put and just follow the instructions. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Anjan, and thank you all for paying attention to that safety brief. I would like to now call upon the minister, K.T. Ramanagaru, and all the dignitaries on the stage to please join me in lighting the lamp as we want to start this momentous occasion with the tradition of invoking the gods and goddesses who can help us in this journey. Today is a very significant day for us at Sinjin, denoted by the lighting of the lamp. And as we get ready to inaugurate this facility, as we move into the program, I would now request our CEO, Jonathan Hunt, to address this gathering. Jonathan, please. Thank you, Mahesh, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Let me add uh, my own warm welcome to our distinguished guests here on the stage as well as those of you in the audience, our managing director, Kiran, my colleagues from this site, and of course, those joining us uh, from Bangalore as well. So thank you for joining me on this special day as we gather um, for this inaug inauguration of our new R&D facility here in Hyderabad. 
Today, Syngene is a world-class scientific service provider, a one-stop shop offering discovery, development, and manufacturing services for novel molecules. Our clients include many of the world's largest pharmaceutical and biotech companies, as well as companies working across life sciences and allied sectors. And this kind of work involves meeting exacting regulatory standards, as well as, of course, the requirements of our clients. And partnering with these clients takes a wide range of skills. We need to understand their specific scientific and business goals and respect very specific quality requirements and deliver projects reliably, on time, every time. And this just doesn't happen by chance. To achieve this, of course, we employ very talented scientists, engineers, project managers, and many of them are here in this room. So it's this talent, as well as the technology that we have, that really does set us apart from our peers. So what's so special about this facility? Let me just spend a few moments giving you some of the highlights. Now, Discovery Services is one of the three business divisions that we have at Syngene, and this R&D facility has been designed to accommodate the latest in research technology. As we completed phase one at the end of last year, and today it's fully operational and can accommodate close to 150 scientists. The facility's been commissioned in two phases, We've introduced the very latest digitization and automation systems in the laboratories here and the whole facility operates on a state-of-the-art internet-based uh, uh, innovative analytical laboratory solution that allow, enables any time, anywhere access to the instrumentation and it also minimizes the downtime by monitoring the operational status of all of the systems on the campus. Other digitization and automation features include uh, electronic lab notebooks and analytical intelligence. The building also has a number of environmental uh, friendly um, for, um, measures, starting with, of course, being paperless and as a result of our digital uh, lab notebooks. We've included energy conservation through the use of solar power and limited plastic use throughout the facility. Heat recovery units are also installed in each lab to recover thermal energy, and that will reduce um, the consumption of raw steam across the campus. Now, you probably heard, but and at Syngene, we put a great emphasis on safety, be it the safety of our staff and also of the infrastructure. So safety uh, features included here include laboratories built with fire-rated walls and panels specially designed by industry experts, a dedicated uh, flame-proof area for the storage of hazardous materials, um, and a dedicated water line uh, for fire hydrants and the sprinkler systems. Now, we currently offer discovery services from here, discovery, discovery chemistry services from here, but over time we will be able to expand and offer the full range of discovery services from this site. So when the facility is fully operational, it will be yet another center of excellence for the company that will act as a hotbed for scientific research for the development of new and innovative products that improve the lives of patients and consumers around the world. So once again, thank you for joining me today and it gives me great pleasure to invite Kiran uh, to come and give her sp uh, perspective on our new facility. Thank you. Honorable Minister Shri K.T. Ramarao, Shri Shakti Nagapan, Shri Narsimha Reddy, my colleagues from Sinjin and friends. This is in, indeed a very momentous occasion for all of us because as the sign there says, we are happy to be in Hyderabad. Sinjin has opened its innings in Hyderabad and I must say that this is a milestone for us because we do believe that this is an ecosystem which Sinjin must belong to. And why do I say that? Because the government of Telangana has had the vision and the, the, pro, you know, the very, very pragmatic policies to make sure that they focus on research and innovation, especially in the area of life sciences. 
and Genome Valley today is certainly one of the leading innovation clusters in life tech, which I think Sinjin certainly wants to belong to. Sinjin, over the last 25 years, has actually played a significant role in creating a research profile for India. Given the talent pool that we have in India, given the scientific temper that we have in India, I think research services becomes a very important opportunity for India to leverage. And recognizing this, we started as a fledgling startup in 1994, and I am really proud of the fact that today, Sinjin is leading the way and is one of the leading research services and uh, partnership companies in innovation in Asia. Today, Sinjin boasts of various research centers in Bengaluru. We have just started a center in Mangalore and now in Hyderabad, which I think is extremely important. And going forward, I'm sure Hyderabad is going to be a very, very strong driver of growth for Sinjin. Telangana today, of course, has created a wonderful ecosystem, which is really required when you're building a life tech hub or a biotech hub in any part of the country. You need industry academia linkages. Uh, you need uh, institutions of great eminence when it comes to research. You need, uh, of course, entrepreneurs. You need startups. You need incubators. And I must say, Hyderabad can feel very proud of having created all of this in a way that is world class and in future is going to be one of the leading innovation hubs and innovation clusters globally. And for this, I must congratulate our very dynamic minister, Sri Keti Ramarao. I have had the pleasure of interacting with the minister for many years, and I can't help but you know, be very impressed by his go-getting and entrepreneurial ways. He himself is an entrepreneur by nature, and he believes that entrepreneurs have to be enabled in every way possible. I think if you were to actually conduct an ease of doing business survey in terms of entrepreneurship, I'm sure Hyderabad will lead the way. Hyderabad has earned a very worthy reputation of being the pharma capital of India. With over 600 pharmaceutical companies contributing to 35% of India's drug production. And I must say that this is also the vaccine, one of the vaccine capitals of India because of the kind of capacity that has been created in vaccine production and it is undoubtedly going from strength to strength. And I'm looking forward to, you know, to participating in the inaugural event of one of the very leading vaccine producers in, in Hyderabad. As far as Sinjin is concerned, we decided that Hyderabad has to be a very important innovation hub for us. Uh, this is the start of our research uh, uh, you know, cap uh, activities in Hyderabad. This is going to be a research facility that will house over 270 scientists. These are jobs that are very important for India. These scientific jobs are going to be the future of India. And of course, in terms of the footprint, in phase one, we expect to occupy 100,000 square feet, but I'm sure that with the kind of opportunities that are emerging for not just Sinjin but also for India, I think this will only grow from strength to strength. I'd also like to sort of say to the minister who's here with us today that today it's not about one technology. There is a convergence of technology taking place between IT and life technologies. 
And I think it is the convergence of these technologies that is driving innovation in a way that was unprecedented. I think the kind of innovation we are looking at in terms of the data analytics, the AI and other machine learning capabilities that are now allowing us to do things in an expedited way, in a way that is oriented towards predictability and with precision, is what allows us to innovate at such speed. I think this is the exciting opportunity that lies ahead for us. And sir, if I may say so, Hyderabad has both IT capabilities and biological uh, biological sciences capabilities and by focusing on also education that actually converges the two technologies is going to be extremely important for us. I've also been, uh, you know, advising some of the state governments like Karnataka to focus on combining IT and data science in medical education as well. I think this is long needed and I think this is something that will augur well for everyone who is pursuing innovation in drug sciences and drug innovation. So I really look forward to you know, seeing and celebrating many, many milestones in Hyderabad and I would like to thank the government and the minister for all the help that they have given us to get this started. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kiran, ma'am. I now invite the Honorable Minister K.T. Ramaragaru to inaugurate our facility. To do so, sir, we'll, bring, we'll hand you a remote, which you're going to push a button, which will unveil the entrance to the building that's right behind us. We will see it on the screen, and everybody on simulcast will also be able to see it. A big round of applause. In just a few moments, we will have the opportunity to walk around the facilities as well. But before that, may I please invite you, sir, to say a few words on this occasion. <clears throat> Kiran, it's always a pleasure. It's always extremely exhilarating to meet you because whenever I meet you whenever I talk to you. I go back with uh, a fresh dose of energy, a fresh bout of energy. So thank you very much for spending your precious time in Hyderabad and with us. Jonathan, this is the first time I'm meeting you. I hope you won't fall asleep during the occasion because I know you didn't get much sleep while you flew in. So I just hope uh, you continue to visit Hyderabad. I hope under your leadership, Sinjin, as Kiran said, will grow from strength to strength. Mahesh, thank you very much for inviting us. Shakti, thank you very much for coordinating this and also Narsimha Redigaru, thank you very much for laying the new road. Kiran was just pointing out the new roads that you've laid, the fresh coat of... Kiran uh, uh, I'm just switching to Telugu for a second. I'm just telling them that... Uh, <laughs> I said all the right things, Kiran, don't worry. So I'm delighted to be here today to inaugurate the new R&D center of Sinjin. Just as it is for Sinjin and also for the country, it's a very special occasion for Genome Valley as well. And for me personally, like I said, to meet Kiran, anywhere, whether it is in Delhi, Bangalore or Hyderabad or anywhere, meeting an entrepreneur like Kiran and talking to her, just exchanging notes, discussing, even if it is just shooting the breeze and talking about everything else other than business also, it's always, it's always a great experience. And like I said, Genome Valley, the way it has been shaping up, the way it has been expanding, the way it has been growing, 
has also been very exciting the last few years especially as kiran pointed out life sciences industry is one of the very important and thrust areas for government of telangana as part of our industrial expansion with more than 800 pharma biotech and medtech companies in the state i am delighted i am excited that the space is growing at a good pace telangana has one of the largest life sciences clusters in asia as kiran pointed out we are the pharma capital of india we are also in fact the vaccine capital of the world in fact kiran one third of global vaccines are produced thanks to mahima and her entire you know a uh, bunch of friends here one third of world vaccines are produced in hyderabad today our government is fully committed to supporting the life sciences sector and companies such as sinjin there are three reasons why i am excited to welcome sinjin to genome valley one sinjin is a great role model within the life sciences sector because it has proven track record of delivering complex research projects at global standards secondly this new research and development center brings high quality research to the state and lastly and most importantly because as a company sinjin sets the standard for setting up environmentally responsible facilities which i think we all appreciate which i really think is the need of the hour of course we would like to see kiran more often in our city we welcome kiran whose achievements have been internationally recognized and whose experience and vision underpin the investment in the facility that we are inaugurating today and kiran congratulations on the honor conferred by the australian government recently also i am happy to know that this facility being implemented in two phases at a total investment of rupees 170 crore is sinjin's first operational facility outside bangalore and will employ a multidisciplinary team of about 270 highly skilled scientific talent it will have world class research infrastructure with the latest in digital and automotive automation solutions to support the cutting edge discovery research projects that will be undertaken here as kiran pointed out the convergence of it and life sciences is a very exciting opportunity for a city like hyderabad where we have these two sectors poised equally well in fact some of your friends kiran in hyderabad based in their large centers in hyderabad have resorted to digital drug discovery some of them have started a digital therapeutics division and i am sure biocon and sinjin eventually will also start something in hyderabad and not just in bangalore i hope i hope you give us equal amount of love because i know you're a passionate bangalorean i keep see i keep following on twitter and i keep seeing all her comments and i keep hearing all kinds of advices that she passes on to government of karnataka kiran you can't just be advising karnataka you have to be advising the rest of the country as well i think it's not me saying it your employees are saying it jonathan hunt as as was pointed out by kiran is a very experienced man he brings a lot of experience and he is somebody who's from the industry who's worked in uk and various other parts of the world extensively and i do hope jonathan that as the cluster grows here i do hope that this cluster and sinjin in particular will also endorse all the environmental friendly measures and energy conservation initiatives and i must compliment the sinjin team for their commitment and focus to these two particular areas because growing a business is possibly the natural thing any businessman or any business group would do but to be environmentally conscious to also focus on energy efficiency and energy conservation i must applaud you and your team for that the inauguration of sinjin r&d center today also coincides with the opening of bio asia 2020 which is india's largest gathering of experts in healthcare science and technology this year bio asia will explore the capabilities that life sciences companies should invest in today to thrive and create value for brighter and a healthier tomorrow the theme of bio asia this year is today for tomorrow i shall look forward to seeing you all at the inauguration of this event in the evening at hyderabad international convention center once again my pleasure and an honor to inaugurate this impressive facility and once again my complete complete uh, uh, you know exhilaration on being 
on, on meeting you again, Kiran. Thank you very much for this opportunity and congratulations. Thank you very much for those wonderful words. Thanks for those opportunities of what we can all do for the area and the country. Before I now invite the dignitaries for a tour of our facilities, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our distinguished guests for being here this afternoon. I know the Honorable Minister is hard-pressed for time with multiple events.